What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Killer Drone, and welcome back to the Minecraft How to Build series. We're going to be working on a blacksmith, but in the previous two episodes, we took a look at a fairly small starter house with a nice workshop underneath, and then after that, we did this big, beautiful windmill. You guys can go ahead and check out those on the channel if you're interested, but let's get started with this blacksmith. So this is going to be the layout for the blacksmith. Go ahead and copy this down into your world. In case you need some dimensions here for these floating blocks out here, this is two blocks out from that square. And then it is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks out from that part with a three block gap in between. So you can kind of figure out where those two pieces of concrete go. But go ahead, copy down this entire thing into your world. We're gonna be referencing this as we go. So in order to start off this build, what we're gonna do is make an L right here on this corner first. We're gonna start building up the main portion of the building and then we will worry about this side piece a little bit later. So go ahead and do an L on this side and then what we're gonna do is wrap around with cobblestone on every single block in a circle all the way around just like this. Place cobblestone on every single block. Now what we're gonna do is come up with a L shape once again with your cobblestone and then switch over to some cyan terracotta and bring your cyan terracotta over to the edge here, but do not place it on this block here. You wanna come one short because this is going to be cobblestone on all of these blocks here. Go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side with your cyan terracotta. Make this little L shape and then put a cyan terracotta right there. Now on this right side of the building, what we're gonna do is place another bit of cobblestone here and another bit of cobblestone here. And then at the front where we left this big opening, we're gonna put some cyan terracotta here and here with a bit of acacia fence right on top of that. So just a bit of acacia fence on there and on there. So for the next layer, go over to your acacia fence that you just placed and place a bit of cyan terracotta on each one of those. Then what you're gonna wanna do is take some cobblestone. Once again, come with that L shape and you're just going to drag this cobblestone on top of every single block that we've placed all the way around Go ahead and ignore these two blocks. In fact, you can go ahead and replace these as well with some stairs. This will just add a little bit more dimension over to this side. So just replace this block with a stair and this block with a stair, just to add a little bit of a curvature there. Then go ahead and take your cobblestone. Once again, wrap it all the way around, make that L in the side. And now you should be left with something that looks like this. Go ahead and take your cobblestone stairs and place them at an angle like that and an angle like this. And then you need to get a trap door in between the two facing the outside. So the way that I like to do this is place a trap door there and a trap door there. And then I will get a, another trap door and place it usually on a block or something like that. Like so, close that up, remove the block and now you should have something that looks a bit like this. These three blocks that are right here, you can go ahead and replace those with spruce doors and all of this concrete with cobblestone and probably a mixture of gravel as well. So just something like this and then your three doors just like that. And that will be the front of your building. So go ahead and come down to that trap door that you just placed in the middle of your doorway and get a cyan terracotta right above it in that doorway like so. Then go ahead and take your cobblestone and we're going to place cobblestone on every block except for this one and this one. So just come around just like so all the way around. Again, skip that block right there Go ahead and loop it all the way around to the back, just like so. This middle block here, go ahead and place a cyan terracotta right there. And then once again, go ahead and loop your cobblestone all the way around the inside of the building. Go ahead and come back to the back and where these cobblestone pillars are here, put a stair on each one just like that. So now you should have something that looks a bit like this. 
Okay, now the reason that we left out the cobblestone from this section is this is where our roof is going to start. So what you're gonna do is take a mixture of both cobblestone stairs and regular stone brick stairs and you're going to make a border going around the outside edge of your building. So we're gonna take this one block out from the front just like this. Same thing over here, one block out from the front. And then this can continue all the way down to the other end and then one block out from the other end as well. Do this exact same thing on the other side and then go back with your stone bricks and mix in some of these stone bricks into this build. You don't want too much cobblestone or then it just starts to look funny. So get in a few stone bricks here and there just to give yourself a bit of a different texturing on that side. Same thing with this over here. Just mix in a little bit of stone brick stair here and there just to give it a little bit of a different look. So now you should have something that looks a bit like that. So now I'm going to lay out the shape of the roof itself, and then we're going to worry about filling in the peaks or the arches of the roof. So go ahead and come to this front right corner like this and just take a cobblestone out like so. This is going to be the start of your roof in both directions on both sides. Then what you're going to do is take a stair on the back side of that stair, place a block and then a block up and remove that block. Do the exact same thing over on this side. So a stair, a block, block up. So now you should have something that looks like that. Then what you're gonna do is place another stair on top of this. You can come back and replace in some stone brick stairs later on just to break up this front. But for right now, let's just get the shape in. So again, another block and then a block up, another block and then a block up. So you should have something that looks a bit like this. And then on top of that, we're going to do a stair on each side. And then in the middle, we're gonna run a big beam down the center out of stripped spruce. So go ahead and get out your stripped spruce like this. And we're gonna run a big beam right here in the center, all the way down your build, just like so. And we'll do that a little bit later, but off the front here, bring it out by one more block from the edge of your roof and then bring it up one, out one, and then remove that block there. So you have kind of this little peak that comes off the front of your roof. In fact, if you want to, you can even extend this out a little more and do something like that just to give it a little bit more elongated of a feel. But that is the shape of your roof. That is how it's going to look. Now the inside of your roof, the interior here, is going to be following whatever block is here. So if you have a cobblestone, you're gonna take the dark prismarine blocks and run it down the length of your build. And then if you have the stairs, you're going to take the dark prismarine stairs and run that down the length of your build. You're also gonna to need to copy the roof design from the front onto the back. And it's just going to be an exact match and just run your block that you've chosen all the way down to the end. Okay, so now let's go ahead and focus on filling in this part of the roof here. Go ahead and place a cobblestone on this block and this block, and then fill in between with some cyan terracotta. On top of each of those cobblestone, place a cyan terracotta there and there with a bit of acacia fence in between, and then one acacia fence up from the middle, and then take yourself a bit of stripped acacia logs and place one sideways like that, sideways like that, and then going up and down on top of your acacia fence like that. Then go ahead and fill in the rest of the roof with your cyan terracotta, and you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now what you wanna do is take your stone brick slabs and put it even with the bottom of this fence here, and then with the bottom of this fence here, and then half a slab down right there in the center, and now the front of your building should look a bit like this. Go ahead and copy that exact same thing onto the back side. You should have the exact same pattern right here. Okay, so just to give you guys a quick fly around, you should have a building that looks a bit like this, but this is not much of a blacksmith yet. 
until we get in the forge, which is what we are about to add in here on the side. So come over to this corner here and just start replacing a bit of this with some cobblestone because this is going to be where the workers stand and actually work on some of the blacksmithing stuff. All the way out to this block right here, four blocks out from this post here. So go ahead and take some stone bricks and go one, two, three, and then a note block right here like that. And then all of this space here is going to be where your forge goes. So go ahead and place in some cobblestone just like this all the way around. Leave the center as hollow for right now because that is going to be where some lava goes. Go ahead and build up with cobblestone, stone brick mixed in kind of sparingly wherever you want it. Leave a gap right there and then come across the top just like this and then close it off just like so. So you should have a box that is hollow with one block underneath just like this whenever you're done. Now what you want to do is come back through with some stone brick and just mix some of this in sparingly to give yourself a different texture around here. So now let's go ahead and lay out the chimney for this forge. So what you're going to do is come around to the backside of the forge right here and place in a bit of cobblestone stair just like that. You're probably going to want to reorient these cobblestone stairs to where you get a corner piece like so and then just make an L all the way to the front of the forge and you should have something that looks like this. Go ahead and take two cobblestone blocks and place them there and then these cobblestone blocks you're going to bring up by four blocks. So one, two, three, four and then do a bit of cobblestone stair there and then up from the back again another four blocks. So one, two, three, four and then on top of this you are going to place down some campfires so like this, grab out your campfires, place them down, and we're going to do the same trick that we've done over here with our spruce trapdoors all the way around your campfires just to hide those textures and make it look like there is smoke coming out of these chimneys. Just like that, you have yourself a nice little forge. Now again, make sure that you don't just leave all of this as cobblestone. Make sure that you come back in with your stone bricks and mix some of these in, again, pretty sparingly, but just so you get yourself a different texture other than just cobblestone all the way up. That adds a little hint of detail that's very nice. So now for these two blocks that are down here, we're going to add an overhang that comes off the back of this forge and just kind of stretches this building out in this direction. It's going to give kind of an illusion of this building being an L shape, even though it's not quite really. So what we're gonna do is take from this stair that is right here on our forge, go out by two blocks and then down by one. So one, two, and then down by one. This will be where our beam comes out from our roof. Now you're going to come out by eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then go up one and then out one like this and then remove that block right there. This is going to be the second roof coming off of your building. Now go ahead and take out some dark prismarine stairs and you're just going to wrap your prismarine stairs that were already here into a corner like so and then bring them out all the way along to the end of your build like this. Do the exact same thing on this side. Again, just wrap your stairs like so. Go ahead and get a stair in right there. And there you go, and then continue it on the other side. So it's going to look like this chimney is going through this roof. So once you have that dark prismarine in like so, what you're gonna do is come back in with your stone brick stairs and your cobblestone stairs and just connect it up down here into the forge. So just do like a stone brick stair here, a bit of cobblestone here and here, stone brick stair, and just mix them up. And the way that you're gonna do this is 
come up to the end right here. So you should still have this one block overhang like we had over here, over on this side as well. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Just take yourself a brand new roof out of the building just like this and switch out your cobblestone and stone bricks every now and then. And now you should have this nice little roof that comes off the side of your building. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get out some cobblestone and some stone brick walls. So both of these, you're gonna mix both of these up and make yourself a little bit of a pillar coming over in this direction. So do this however you want to, doesn't particularly matter, just mix in both of the walls. And there you go, you have yourself something nice. Go ahead and take a bit of a stone brick on each side and then maybe fill in this roof here with something like a banner would be really nice in this area. So I'm just get, gonna get out a normal red banner like so, and then maybe I'll do like a wall in between here to place it on. And there you go. You have something nice and a little detail on the side of your building, just like that. You can even replace some of this underneath here from our layout and replace it with a bit of cobblestone and stone brick stair just to give you a little bit more of a working area. So maybe combine these two areas. So you have maybe like a little covered area over here. So fill in some cobblestone like so, some stone bricks like so, and then maybe wrap it to the back like that. And you got yourself a, a little bit of an extended area to work with. So now it's time to do a bit of detailing. You want this outside area to look like it is a working area. You wanna add some fire into the forge, and then I'm gonna do something special and add in something to the roof to make it look a little bit cooler. So let's start down here with the forge area since this part is pretty important. Go ahead and get yourself a lava bucket in there and let it spill over to the other side. I only like to do one lava bucket because I like it kind of being uneven as if the fire is kind of uneven and swashing around inside of the forge. But if you want to, you can fill in both sides. It doesn't particularly matter. Outside here, since this is a forge, you're going to want an anvil. You'll probably want some iron bars as railing and things like that as well. And maybe not make it so uniform like this. Go ahead and also put in some item frames over on this wall and then displace some tools, whether that be diamond tools or iron tools, it doesn't particularly matter. Just make sure that you have something in these item frames to draw some attention to people. So I'll maybe do two pickaxes and an ax right there. And there you go, you have yourself a nice little tool shelf. So now I'm going to add in one last decoration piece to this entire build, and that's going to be some metal work on the roof. Now you can leave this building exactly the way that it is, and it will look good inside your world. However, this left side here is a little bit plain, and this metal work is just going to make the entire building pop a little bit more. So. If you have your iron blocks retextured in your texture pack, then I do recommend you using the iron blocks because they look a little bit more metallic. However, not everyone plays with a texture pack on, so I recommend using some black concrete powder and some black wool for this next part. So what you're gonna wanna do is come up to your roof and three blocks out from the edge of your roof, so one, two, three, go ahead and place a block of black concrete powder here. So you should have one, two, three block gap, and then your black concrete powder. Go ahead and bring a, another black concrete powder down like that, and then take a black wool like this. You have to use black wool here because if you use black concrete powder, it's going to fall. So you have to use a little bit of a mixture here. So there you go, you have yourself a bit of black wool. You go ahead and go at an angle from that and place down another black concrete powder. And then right here in this area where you have this three wide strip, you're going to take two black concrete powder up just like that. So it's gonna be kind of this drooping metal thing here in the center of your roof. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So again, one, two, three blocks out from the edge, you're going to have a black concrete powder. Then you're gonna come down by one and then over by one with a bit of wool. And then for this side, I'm just going to drape it right down like that. So it, it's going to be different on each side, 
Or I guess if you really wanted to do this, you could take this out by one and just make it not even here. So you can do the exact same thing. But the idea is that this thing doesn't look very uniform as if it is some type of metal piece that is just draped over the roof. You're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna copy this exact same thing onto the other side of the building as well. Okay, so I've been playing around with this a little bit and I've decided to make mine a little bit bigger. So rather than it being three blocks wide, I decided to bring it out to four blocks wide and still the two blocks tall. And then the chains that are hanging over the roof, I've just kind of redesigned. This is going to be kind of a personal preference thing anyway. Some of you guys are going to like this. Some of you guys are not. So just kind of scatter things over the top and it should look like chains on each side leading down to some type of big ironwork material here in the center. Do the exact same thing on the other side, four blocks across, two blocks tall, and then kind of just get your chains going in each direction up your roof like this. So if you want to copy mine, you can just take a look right here and you can copy that over into your world. I'll try and give you some different angles so you can pause the video real quick. And I'll give you another look on this side. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the blacksmith done. But you guys know how we do it here on the How to Build series. No build is complete without a bit of landscaping. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is going to be where I wrap up today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, as well as if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more how to build content coming in the future. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day. I know normally I show you guys an interior, so fine, fine, let me do it. I'll, I'll show you an interior real quick. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and open up the door. First and foremost, run a beam right underneath this fence all the way across, hang some lighting down from that fence. Go ahead and bust a hole into the side of your forge. Place some stairs this way and that way. This should be one block out from your wall at the back. Go ahead and place two anvils down over here for your smith to work on. A small little shelf here. You can display some type of uh, workshop stuff, a axe or a pickaxe, maybe even uh, a shovel or something like that. Couple of smithing tables and then also another shelf over here. Very nice, very simple interior. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You guys can probably come up with something better than me on that. And cut.